Yes, I got another one. But no, unfortunately, that's not the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. This one is slightly older. Hey guys, welcome back to Have SS channel. My name is Ivan and today we're going to talk about this guy, which is the Lenovo Legion 5, the older AMD version with Ryzen 7 4800H, 16 gigabytes of RAM and GTX 1660 Ti. And you're going to ask yourself the question right away, well, why are you buying this one? You already have the RTX 2060 version with Intel. Well, this one has been the subject of the conversation for a long, long time on YouTube. A lot of reviewers are claiming this one is the best gaming laptop you can get for your money. And right now costs about $1,000 on Amazon. So really the price is not bad at all. But does the 1660 Ti can compare to the RTX 2060 on my Intel version of it? We're going to find out. First and foremost, as always, we're going to do a quick unboxing, see what else is inside. If there is anything different compared to the previous version. And if not, uh, we're just going to quickly move to the tests. And of course, at the end, we're going to talk about in the conclusion. have inside we have legion ultimate support okay great we have the cable regular mickey mouse style cable quick setup and user guide and our safety and warranty guide we'll keep that inside and let's see this 230 watts power supplies and we have the proprietary uh, kind of square uh, charging port for this one hook and loop strap very nice it's well packed in this recycled fabric i like when they do this because when you travel we actually can put it in this and put it in your backpack here it is most of you are familiar with the design big ventilation points on the bottom a lot of perforations we have two big rubber feet on the front and we have one big rubber feet with legion branding on the back having majority of the ports in the back we have kensington lock hdmi another two usb uh, threes the usb c and we have RJ45 on the back for network, two ventilation points on both sides. And if we turn on side, another large ventilation point, another USB 3. We have indication for our charging. Towards the front, you will see where the speakers are. On the left side, we have another big ventilation point, another USB 3. And our combo 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone jack right here with uh, the other uh, speaker. And yeah, that's... Uh, pretty much it really like this design and just like i thought there's absolutely no difference on the chassis on the accessories or even in the charger the charger is the same 230 watt charger with the proprietary plug at the end exactly the same as the one on the intel version so realistically the only difference in this chassis compared to the intel one are the stickers in the bottom here we have the Ryzen 7, the GTX sticker, and the Radeon graphic stickers. And unfortunately, they're all placed on the left side underneath your palm, which I really don't like. I wish they have them on the right side because your palm is going to be resting on those stickers. And over time, they're just going to peel off, they're going to fade off, and they're going to look not pretty at all.
So what can we say for a final conclusion? The Lenovo Legion 5 with AMD Ryzen 4800H and 1660 Ti is running about 10% slower compared to the RTX 2060 and Intel i7-10750 from the previous version. Does this difference translate into the price difference? Yes, absolutely. Currently, you can get the Ryzen version with the GTX 1660 Ti for about a thousand dollars off of Amazon, which makes it a great deal in my book. The Ryzen processor is very good for production. If you're relying on this laptop to do a lot of video editing, a lot of uh, other CPU intensive tasks, that is the one to get because the processor is absolutely great. It still runs very cool in this chassis. And I see that Lenovo have done a great job, not only with the Intel version, but with this one as well. So overall, bring me to the conclusion that that chassis construction and cooling is done very well, keeps everything very content. There's no excessive noise. There is no overheating. None of that is present. And even at most intensive games, overall, the laptop stays very cool and quiet relatively compared to some of the other ones. Um, again, if you have that kind of budget around a thousand dollars and if there's nothing else better on the market or if there's nothing else that you can get for that kind of price i'm definitely recommending this especially for those that are relying on that cpu because that ryzen is definitely a lot better compared to that i7 10750 from the previous uh, laptop you've seen but if you're playing more games probably it's better to go for the rtx 2060 or something even newer or better uh, save some more money and uh, get the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, which is still not on the Lenovo US website for some reason. It's all over the world. Uh, people are coming out with reviews. Other third party websites is selling it, but Lenovo US is still not having a quantity of this uh, highly anticipated Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and the latest Ryzen uh, 5 series. So, Hopefully they're gonna have it anytime soon. As soon as they do, I'm gonna grab one and definitely compare it to some of these older versions. I'm confident that this new version of the Lenovo Legion 5, the Pro one, will outbeat all the previous ones. And it's still gonna be the leader when it comes to gaming laptops, but we're gonna see that in some future videos. This is pretty much it for now, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell notification to get notified for every single new review coming your way. And if you want to support this channel, check out the link in the video description below. And until next time, guys, you have a wonderful day.